guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here today to teach a new tutorial on a new rendition of Tangled. So if you guys haven't seen, Disney's getting a new show called Tangled Before Ever After. It's going to be a movie and then it's eventually going to lead into a series. So I'm really excited and I want to go ahead and teach on Rapunzel, the, the different, like, it's like a whole different look to Rapunzel and it's really cool looking. So let's go ahead and draw her before we jump into these Beauty and the Beast tutorials. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start all the way up here. Of course, I'm just gonna start with her head. And you're gonna make it kind of look like an almond almost, but you kinda wanna make the top a little bit rounder up here and give her her eye line first and then her nose line as well. So after that, what I'd like to do is and I want to go ahead and start laying out the rest of her body just in case, just to lay things out. So you're gonna jump behind her chin right here just a little bit. Bring down this part of her neck and then the other side of her neck. So you're gonna go ahead and bring up her shoulders. And since her shoulder is that big poofy part of her of her sleeve, and then you're gonna bring this, the rest of this down, it's gonna go down, bring it in, and then bring it out this way. Then you're gonna go ahead and jump down here, make the rest of her arm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in sections. So I'm gonna circle back upwards, and then I'm gonna bring up this side of her forearm, bring in this side of her forearm, give her that elbow on the other side, and stop there for right now. And then I'm gonna go back to the part of the big fruity part of her sleeve, and I'm gonna bring out her chest a little bit, and then I'm gonna go right back into her arm just like this. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly like draw through her arm, bring down this part so we have like the this is her bodice so if I want to I can go ahead and do this and of course her skirt will be bringing down backwards bring this down out this way and jump on the other side bring down this side bring out the skirt a little bit and then go ahead and close this off like a bell So let's go ahead and jump inside of her face and start put piecing together her face and then we'll eventually add her hair. So I want to go ahead and place one eye like this so we're just going to make it nice and big and round. You see how I'm curving off this side just a bit, curving it back down and closing it off and I'm going to jump over here, curve this around. and then close it off. Leaving a little bit of space over here, I'm gonna jump inside, draw that big pupil iris, jump over here, do the exact same thing, but it's in the corner of her, her eye since she's looking over her shoulder but we still see a good amount of her face. The thing about this rendition of Rapunzel is she doesn't have like a closing in her eye. It kind of, It's done by coloring, so we only have a good bottom eyelash line and a good top eyelash line. So I'm gonna jump back up and draw that eyelash line again. Make it nice and thick on top and it's nice and skinny towards the side, off to the side right here. And then you go up and bring up this eyelash part. Big thick part right here. And then down here you make this nice and thick, but you don't want to close off the eyes. Since this is technically her nose ridge, we're going to leave this closed off. But what you want to do is I'm going to open up this side back here. I'm going to make this part nice and thick. And then this part back here. This is the other side of her eyelash, so we're gonna go ahead and give that big bulky part right there and make it nice and thick. Jump in here and give a little shine to that eye and give another shine to her eye over here. And then you go ahead and you 
color in the pupil. And you want to color in the pupil on this side all the way in the corner. Since her eyes are green, I'm going to lightly shade in her eyes. After that, what you're gonna do, her nose is pretty simple. You're gonna go, you're gonna bring it out from under here. So I'm going a little bit kitty corner to here. Go out this way, bring it outwards, and then bring it back in so it looks like a funny looking L. Now the thing you want to keep in mind is, I'm going to make this circle at the bottom of the L and shade that in and that signifies like her nostril area. I'm going to jump up over off to the side right here and I'm going to start her mouth underneath her nose. I'm going to bring it this way. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump on top and give her that upper part of her lip and it's just really simple. It's just a rounded off area. And then go below and make that bottom lip a little thicker and round it back in. And you can go ahead and lightly shade in those. Now what I like to do is I'm gonna jump to the eye line. The eye line will always match up with the ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her her ear, and that's gonna go right into her, her head. Connect that, make sure, just go ahead and make these little finer lines. So let's go ahead and start her hair. The thing you wanna always keep in mind with her Rapunzel is that you always wanna start from the bang over here. So we have this part of her, so we have this part of her section of her hair. So we start with right there, bring it up, bring it down, and there's that bang and it's actually gonna go down behind her eyelash and tuck back over here. If you always start with this part, you'll always end up getting Rapunzel's hair right. So I'm gonna jump off to the side and create the rest of that part of her bang and connect it. Oh, most importantly, we forgot her eyebrows. I wanna give her eyebrows. <laughs> so I wanna jump above right here, underneath her bang. And it's just nice and thick and it's hiding behind this section of her hair. And I jump over here and we can see this one more. And you're just gonna start it nice and boxy at the end. Bring it over to the where her eyelash area is. Go ahead and fill that in because they are pretty thick eyebrows. All right, so back to her hair. <laughs> so after this part, this section of her hair, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this part. It's gonna go down. And then it's gonna go straight down from here. Then what you wanna keep in mind is the thickness of her hair, even though it's going down, it's going to be this thick, so this is the other part of her hair. I'm gonna go down from her back into her skirt, and the hair is gonna follow. So it's gonna go down, keep that thickness. It's going to wave out just a little bit and then back into her skirt. Now for this part, what I'd like to do is I wanna go ahead and draw the pot, the bundle of her hair in her arm. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna start from her chest and we're gonna go upwards. And we're gonna make this big section. And then we have a section of hair that's going over her arm. Up. Went off the page, <laughs> go up, and then we have another part right here. And it's gonna go up, look like a heart. 
and in. And then we have another section that goes down. And into that bundle of hair. But it's broken up into a couple of spots. We bring this down. And go back in. And then this huge section of hair that we just we just created from right here, you're going to go ahead. I'm going to draw an imaginary line through her skirt. And it's going to go right up into here. So you can go ahead and erase this part, this part. That way her hair is just all connected. So what I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase these guidelines in her arm. Now let's give her some sections in her hair because she doesn't exactly have strands. They, they're they like individual strands just showing like where the breakage in her hair is and where the part is going. So from starting from right here, we have a strand there. We have a strand going back this way from this part, going back this way. And then we're gonna start from right here, bring down this part. And then we're going to bring this one down here, which is covering up the top of her ear, and it goes into the back. So we can get rid of that. And we also have just a little bit of hair above her ear like that. And then starting from back behind her ear, section hair is going this way. Go back up. Section, go back up, and another section, and then from back behind here, there's another section of hair. And just to signify that these are hair bundles, we're going to go ahead and just keep making those lines. We'll start with this middle one first. And you can't mess up on this part, you can make as many lines as you want. Don't make too many because you want to imitate this kind of effect it has out here. of hair and then back from back here and this is going to look like it has another section and of course this big bulky part that leads into this part has a couple of strands And then back up here, you're just going to give it one more section of hair. And what you want to do is you just want to kind of make a couple of lines in here underneath her bang and you can shade that in. And we have just like a little hair just going in front of her eye and back into her bangs. And you want to shade in back here as well. Let's go ahead and piece together her outfit a little bit more. So from her back right here, you're going to go ahead and close off the top of her bodice. And then she has that little uh, frilly, it's like lace on top. The lace is actually connected and it goes all the way up around her arm, her shoulder, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a shoulder. <laughs> her, it goes around her shoulder and what you want to do is you want to break up this shoulder, the froofy part of her sleeve. Some lines to signify that froofy part, but it is very subtle. And what you can do, you can shade that in because that's a darker purple than this pink. And the same lace pattern that's up here goes down at the bottom of her bodice. And then of course you can go ahead and this is an, a nice maroon color so you can go around and shade this in her bodice. So another thing you want to go ahead and do is after you clear 
the guidelines away from her face, I went ahead and I erased everything. Huge thing you want to keep in mind is she has shading underneath her eyes. And here's another thing you want to keep in mind as well. There is no separation. This is the whole top of her face and it's all connected. So there is, there are no lines for her ear. Go underneath her eye right here and shade in underneath. And I want to shade across her nose ridge and onto the other side of her cheek and underneath her eye over there. So if I smooth that in with my fingertip or you can use a tissue or if you have a shading stick. So I shade that in and what you want to do across her nose ridge above right here is give her little freckles. So what you want to do is give her a couple of flowers in her, her hair Pretty, pretty simple, not that big of a deal. Just go around a couple spots and four, some four petaled flowers here and there. A couple of flowers up in her hair over here. So from down here underneath her skirt, right underneath here, you're gonna go ahead and bring down one leg right here and then one leg over here. And what you want to do is you want to shade this on the other side to signify her legs are lined up and this one's on the other side as opposed to this one. What I'd like to do is from back behind here, from this section of hair, we're actually going to draw through her skirt and bring it all the way down to the page. And I'm going to go back and imagine that this is the thickness of it. off our page. If we get rid of this, and we go ahead and take that same technique with her hair and divide it up into a couple of strands, that shows that she has more hair going off this way. So she has a lot of her hair in her hands, and she has a lot of hair going that way. And of course, at the bottom of her skirt, I'm gonna go ahead And just give it that one little line which is a pink that matches this part of the pink of her sleeve and she has a purple skirt on so there you go guys that's how you draw Rapunzel from Tangled Before Ever After this is a new version of Rapunzel and it's a new cartoon series that's coming to Disney first it's a movie and then it'll go into a series I'm really excited but I wanted to go ahead and get this Rapunzel tutorial done for you guys just because we're going to jump into Beauty and the Beast um, tutorials pretty soon since we're already pretty much halfway through February. So, yes guys, I hope you have a most wonderful week and I will see you all later. 